Sometimes I, I was doing seminars and I, I stopped doing the seminars. When I say couples, mm -hmm. I started strictly doing couples. Yeah. I say couple is couple. And I put the regulation on the gates that no one enters that church alone, alone without the, your partner is that ticket. And it worked for me because now the other ones used to, to relax and you can go alone and get. You cannot help you when you are alone much as we can help you when you are two of you so we it started working and there's a time i can say married people married people that means even those partners are very far away and you cannot tell you are free to come and you are free to come and you hear because when i start say couples some people come married but you don't there are no couples and it will not help them why most of the married people you don't you are not ready for those refresher things that will refresh you I make you. I want to say some things. Even when you go to a wedding and see it as a couple and see people wait yeah. and hear that what the pastor says, see them eat cake, see them do that. You are refreshed. Your love will change that week. Mm -hmm. That's why even long time when people were doing wedding, they were not looking for a gent, a man, and unite. They were looking for young couples, young couples who have been married recently. They become a man and those the, the, the flower girls and what. Are married couples, yeah. but today we are making people to commit adultery. Those girls they hold with those boys and they're not married, yeah. they dance yeah. in that wedding mm. and they do that. Memory of a couple is created and some last for one another. We have seen this, and actually, they, you, from there, they propose, <laughs> others can propose and they get trouble, yeah, yeah. others may not propose, they may fornicate, yeah, because now we imitated things that we. Mm. The did not understand the flower means and the gents. We yeah. don't understand those are young couples. They were supposed to be young couples who married recently. They are accompanying another new couple that is getting going to get married. Mm. And now they come as a couple. And now you enjoy that. Now you can ask your neighbor, when was your last time to attend a wedding? And you are invited, but you don't attend. Mm -hmm. That wedding is not even for the advantage of the one married. <laughs> even for you, there are things yeah, you remind yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. You remind yourself the vows you made when you see them make the vow. The teachings that you get that time, that what you see, the lesson that you see. Now, let's, let me say this. I say this. Uh, many manufacturers, farmers, they attend trade fairs. Yeah. When do they attend trade fairs? They go to see things that are being made, brings that are coming up, how they are rearing, people are rearing them up, how things are being done. Those trade fairs are important they to a farmer. They sharpen you, yeah. they sharpen your skills. Mm. It is a place where you interact and see new knowledge, yes. new technology. Mm -hmm. So the same way in marriage, you need to have trade fairs for marriage, mm. where you go, meet couples, mm -hmm. see people how they are doing. Mm -hmm. How they are loving one another and learn from them. I have seen couples. Some say, I observed how you have been doing. I followed you. I saw you every time. You are working with your wife. You are doing this. I also started practicing it. And it's working for mm -hmm. me. That's a trade, a, a trade fair. There is a show. <laughs> and we have to attend shows. Why we see many people. Mm -hmm. We say a man who does not move out. He thinks his mother is the one who knows how to cook. The best food. Mm -hmm. That's why I see that uh, that's a proverb in my my <laughs> my, my, my 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 community. Yeah. So if you don't move out, you are just there. You are living in your village. You you are living there. You you and your wife. You and your wife. You don't see what others do. You need to interact and understand what other couples <laughs> are doing differently mm -hmm. and what is making their marriage even function and work better. And then. Yeah. Apply it and you are going to see the results. If I'm speaking to somebody, I want to hear amen. So <laughs> this is something that is supposed to be done in, in your life and also in your marriage in Jesus' name. So look for a partner, a, a person who can partner with you in that marriage. Mm -hmm. Mentor. A person who stands with you. When you are weak, there's somebody who can pour your heart. I want to tell you no faith.
not fail because Amen. you have a motivator. <laughs> you have someone who is there. Yes. Hey, you can say what you <laughs> wanted to say. I, I was just laughing when uh. you're saying if you if, if you're talking to someone, you want to hear an amen. You can say amen on their behalf. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing because <laughs> I'm saying on their behalf, you cannot hear. No, <laughs> I cannot hear them say amen. Yeah, like very, very soon I'm coming to your place <laughs> yes. to hear you say amen as I, I train you. <laughs> Can you imagine machine in South Africa saying I will come to South Africa <laughs> you can hear in <laughs> to train couples. Yeah. All right. I have come for other purposes, but I will come purposely for couples now. Yes. Mm. I, I just want to uh, to uh, uh, support what you are saying. Mm. And I'm supporting this by just saying it is the responsibility of couples to check on how they are faring on. Mm. Uh, some people they fail to check on mm. whatever you don't check on regularly mm -hmm. it can just it can go bad mm -hmm. that's why even when we are cooking we keep on checking mm -hmm. how the, the food is progressing mm -hmm. uh, on the cooker the, mm -hmm. uh, everything even the car you mm -hmm. keep on checking, checking. whatever every morning yeah every morning anything mm -hmm. that you want a good service from mm -hmm. that thing mm -hmm. you need to keep on checking out mm -hmm. so some people they just continue in marriage mm -hmm. And some of them, you're just in business. The other one is just doing this and this. You're not so checking. You're not doing any checkup. Mm -hmm. That's why even if you are you are very healthy, sometimes it is even going to go and visit a doctor. And for checkup. For just checkup. You, you're just given a clean bill. Mm -hmm. That you are the, okay. That you are okay. Mm -hmm. That one will give you another motivation. So as, as, as married people, it is always good to check out how are we faring on mm -hmm. how is our relationship as a woman you check out your part am i overwhelmed by whatever i'm doing the man check the two of you you, you sit down and you check mm -hmm. because when you check this the time you you will understand if there's anything that has invented you mm -hmm. this is the time you'll understand if if, if truly you are well or mm -hmm. you are sick mm -hmm. because some some marriages uh, as a result of burnout, they, mm. they are in a state of sickness. Mm -hmm. And some don't know. Mm -hmm. And the worst is sickness is the sickness that you don't understand. Mm. Direction. Mm -hmm. They have been ignored mentors. They have ignored everything that they can, they can, they can do so that their marriages will work out. Mm -hmm. And as, as a result of uh, withdrawal, mm -hmm. as a result of that ignorance, mm -hmm. the results are not good mm. because you meet up with a couple that has never sat down for five years mm. even to 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 to, to i to, was shocked i was dealing with a case of a couple married for 20 something years and they have never attended a seminar and they have never sat under a counselor that's a crime <laughs> that's a big crime of marriage <laughs> and i tell you the truth when everything busts you not like it when mm. this marriage is at at, at, at the uh, in between a rock mm. and a hard place, you not like it. You not like you'll it. Be, mm. You'll be surrounded mm. and you'll not, you'll not uh, be able to handle. Mm. So I, I am just supporting what we are talking here, that it is always good mm -hmm. for a couple to do some checkups. You check, you check, you check if everything is going on well. And if everything is not going on well, it is good. It is also good. You see, there are people who do not do what we call the prevention measures. Mm -hmm. They don't take any precaution. Mm -hmm. They just let things take the, uh, the, the, the course mm -hmm. when it comes to their marriage. Mm -hmm. So when you are you allow things to take their course mm -hmm. without taking precautions, mm -hmm. then to nurse the disappointment, mm -hmm. to nurse the discouragement. Mm -hmm. To nurse separation mm. it's, or it's to issue. try to, to, to protect divorce when it is knocking on your door, mm -hmm. it will become a big problem. So I am just also saying it is good to begin to, to, to have some precautions, mm -hmm. prevention measures. Mm -hmm. And these prevention measures are these things that we are telling you. Have a mentor that you can sit under. Mm -hmm. Learn from others. It is pride that tells a person that you are not supposed to sit and listen from yeah. someone. Yeah, now we, they understand yeah. lack of mentorship yes. can cause a, a burnout. Failure to examine yourselves regularly. regularly. How am I progressing? You sit and tell your husband, see something. Mm -hmm. Where am I wrong? Where am I right? Tell me mm -hmm. how we are going on in this relationship. You tell your wife, tell me 
Am I that man? Where would you like me to change? Oh, what would you like me to maintain? You can become a whistleblower because this person may not see. I may not hmm? see, you may not see. Or oh, I may see fast or you may see fast. You blow the whistle to say, hey, even though we are looking for money, even hmm. though we are doing this and this, this is happening. This is happening. Something is wrong. Hear me. Hear me. We need and to. And you listen yes. to your partner. Yes. And you are avoiding some things mm -hmm. that may happen yeah. in that marriage relationship. Yes. Then, uh, my dear, I feel there's something else very important. Mm -hmm. And this can make these people uh, or any married couple mm. avoid a burnout. Mm -hmm. There are people who have what we call indifference when it comes to hobbies and recreational activities. Yeah. Indifference. That means you, you feel yeah. this is a waste of time. The other you one wants this. You're not connecting. Not connecting. Yeah. So this person is, is, is just there. And you don't have free time where you can joke, you can play, and you don't want to uh, accompany the other person. It will be boring. It will be boring. And so recreation, especially men, they like the hobbies and recreational mm -hmm. activities. They like that. So once you something gives man joy, accompany that man in what even though he you likes. are differing, he even if you're obvious, even though they are they accompanying, are, yeah, accompanying and then he accompany, become his fan, and he will become your, your, your fan. fan. Mm -hmm. So once you begin to develop those kind of recreational activities and you are doing them together, supporting one another, it will keep you a lot, of, uh, a lot together as married couple. And But when you fight them, you see your husband likes this kind of hobby when he is free, he wants you to do that, you keep killing it, you keep killing it. Finally, this person will get bored. Now, uh, let, me, let me just ask you this, mm. because uh, it is coming and I, I believe there is someone who will be helped. Mm -hmm. There is some, somehow a person can just be overtaken by an hobby. Mm -hmm. For example, if, if, if my husband is a fan of football, mm. he is from La Liga, from La Liga, from, uh, he goes to, what do you call them? Mm. All these kind of, mm. you, you understand. Mm. Now, if he's from this channel, he goes to the other, he goes to the other, not one day, not mm. two days, mm. not three days, mm. and he can just watch football five hours every night this person comes to sleep at 3 a.m mm -hmm. you want me and i have some other responsibilities to do to be accompanying this my husband daily or i should encourage him at least to watch either one hour then he goes and let me it. tell you this we we have talked about this uh in our previous uh uh subjects mm -hmm. but i want to Come and answer the way you have asked. Yes. If a man is so much into some things and is addicted, that is a sickness. So it may not be healthy. Because if you can do that, watch only football and even fail to go to the place of work, fail to do this because you are addicted to a certain game, mm -hmm. you lose concentration mm -hmm. in what you are supposed to be doing because you want something in a game, that's addiction. And you are sick and you need to be helped. Men can easily be addicted yes. in some issues. Yeah. Now, there's a normal way that a person loves a game, mm -hmm. loves an hobby. A hobby, what's an hobby? What do you do during free time? Yeah, free time. Free time? Yes. So, going to sleep, sleeping time is not free time. It's sleeping time. And dress. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping time is not free time. Speaking it's sleeping time. time. Uh -huh. And therefore you need to sleep for you to wake up at the right time that you need to wake up. Mm -hmm. But now, if you are a season, it's a season, that something is coming, an event that will go. For example, a lover of football mm. will watch the World Cup. And some games may come the time you, you don't. Support that person. If you cannot watch with him until the game is over, mm -hmm. support him. Yeah. Because you know, World Cup mm -hmm. is a season. <laughs> and it's coming and it's going. Yeah. You, you see that? Yes. It's coming and going. This person can tell you, today we have a final. <laughs> yeah, we have done finals with you. <laughs> the, the, it's a final. <laughs> so today is a must watch because there's a final. And even we intercede for, you, for the team. Yeah. Yes. So we want to support our team because it is final. So you will come and accompany the other person the Lord. and support Amen. the team. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> but now, finals are not every day. 
So if it becomes every day and every day you are there and it can stop you from normal, mm -hmm. there are so, so many, there are so many finals, I love football, that's, but there are so many finals that have ever passed me without even knowing it's final mm -hmm. because I'm busy doing other things. Yeah. But sometimes I can learn and say, hey, when did this reach there? And then I start following mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So there are people who have the time that they can watch everything and they understand that right now I don't have all that time. Is rare. Right now, I cannot know the last time I watched football. Mm. I don't know. Mm. So, uh, it, it can be so something. Affected, huh? yeah. uh, it can be, mm. even without corona affected, my activities, mm. the things that I do now, they don't uh, permit regularly to understand some things. Mm -hmm. But I can check briefs if I get a chance yeah. to do that. So, if a person is so much into something, that's addiction. And that is not good it, it need to be checked there must be balance mm. and uh, when their balance is done it will be good but it is always good to find an hobby what are you doing as a couple yeah. what do you like to do do you like to play tennis play tennis do you like to play chess play it do you like to do that something that can make you excited and be together there that will help you to refresh to be refreshed mm. and it will give you a, a, that kind of a, a, a touch that you need at that time you know feel this marriage is boring you can take a walk together, you can run in your estate, come back, and make something that you do that regularly when you are together. Mm. I want to tell you that will refresh you. You can play football if you are able, well, basketball together for a while. Mm. You can go to a swing and swing, mm. jump here, there. The two of you, yes. throw the other, throw the other. Sometimes get excited and have those kind of games. When we go out for couples retreats, we give them time to go and play. Mm -hmm. And we allow them, those who can play with this game, they play, those who can do that, they, they do that. And it, it makes them so excited. When you're playing, you're being there, and this is good. Mm -hmm. You can go for a gym together, and yeah. these kind of things. Gym together, doing all this. And I want to tell you, you can volunteer to be the trainer mm -hmm. of your husband or your wife, and you can be trained together. Yeah. This week, you walk uh, and your life will be refreshed and these are small things that people you know but they give a lot of uh uh touch to the marriage relationship and it's uh, it helps them to be there now i want to i cannot finish this night without touching this eh? because it uh, it may help someone although our time is much spent uh something we need to address also uh, which can bring a lot of burnouts or can cause burnouts in many marriages is unsupportive partner. Unsupportive partner. Hear that? You are a woman, you are not supporting your husband. Mm -hmm. You are a husband, you are not supporting your wife. So, in other words, you are facing opposition from someone who is supposed to support you. Somebody who is supposed to be your helper is now your competitor. This is something which is very, very, very dangerous mm -hmm. in marriage and supporting partners. So marriage is supposed to be made by two of you and you support one another. Mm. And you must make that commitment to support. Make your best to make sure that this person becomes what the best he can. This must person becomes the best she can by supporting. Your support is needed so much in the life of that person, such that when it is withdrawn or even reduced, can cause a lot of frustration. So support is supposed to be given there. Mm. Now, this is the areas that we look about. There are some males or females who leave everything to the, of marriage to the other. Yeah. You have left all the marriage responsibility. You are no longer concerned about parenting. You are no longer concerned about the welfare of their children. Mm -hmm. You are no longer concerned about the other one. You have left all the responsibilities to the other person. This is what we always say. Mm -hmm. If a male leaves a female to do all responsibilities, even what the male is supposed to do, a female will only do it as a female. It can true. never, she can never do it mm. as a male. Mm. A mother will always uh, nurture children as mother, not as father. Yeah. So she cannot. You leave him. You leave her to, to raise up the children. 
she will raise them as a mother, not a father. So man, you are needed. Your input is supposed to be there. Don't leave your partner alone to suffer. During pregnancy, you're not there. During uh, the time they were having children, you're not there. School meetings, you don't go. This person gets stressed. Anytime she may be uh, late from the place of work, even to get a child from school, you can't do that kind of simple thing. You cannot take, pick that child. You cannot do something. You cannot do, go for a shopping. You cannot do anything. You cannot offer any support yeah. in a marriage. That means that marriage, that person will get fed up. You need to give that support. So don't leave your duty to the other person. Take your responsibility. What you can help, help. What you can help, help. It's very important. Intervene mm. so that the other person will be comfortable. If you leave the person alone, this will go bad. Mm. Then walking alone in marriage journey makes the person get tired. Yeah. You are alone. You are lost. Remember you came there to take away loneliness. So if you leave this person alone, yeah, you, you always come late. Mm -hmm. You always don't you know what is happening. This person is walking alone in the journey of marriage. Absolutely. It was never meant to be walked alone. When you walk alone, you are worried. You are worried. You have, you fear. Because now that loneliness mm -hmm. is still there. Mm -hmm. It is wrong for your partner to be lonely when you are alive. It is wrong. It is wrong. I say, I say for lo so lonely. I am alone. So this is not a journey of yeah, a person to work alone. Yeah. You are supposed to be the two of you. So don't withdraw from the company. You need companionship. Companionship is something that is very critical when it comes to marriage. So walking the journey of marriage alone will make this person fade. And, and there are people who are alone. Yeah, there are people alone because uh, some, they just go. Mm. And they leave either a woman with children. Mm -hmm. When they are grown, mm -hmm. this is the time they reappear. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I came across a, a certain book where a pastor was writing. Actually, mm -hmm. this man right now is a pastor. Mm -hmm. But he was saying the way they grew mm -hmm. with, their own, the, with their mother, mm -hmm. their father mm -hmm. left mm -hmm. when he was five, five years. Mm -hmm. So he grew with that. With that Imagine, with even now I was dealing with a case eh, mm -hmm. where the wife has now separated with the husband. Yeah. And now the husband mm -hmm. want her to come home. The wife gives the husband that she wants three months break uh, to stay with her parents. Uh, and then she has the children. And then uh, when they are talking, because the husband showed, there was no need for that. They are talking so that they can reconcile and come back home. And the wife says, I don't feel I'm comfortable to come home now. But when the children grow, I will come home. So it is in line of, about what you are saying. They are waiting for children to grow, then they come. What, what is she coming to do when the children that are grown? That is very wrong. And this man was saying, so in grew, they, they were two brothers. Mm. They grew with a lot of bitterness. Mm. And they wanted to revenge because mm. they saw how their mom went through uh, very painful moments, mm. rearing them, growing them up, mm. trying to look for everything so that they can be comfortable. Mm. So they, they were saying they wanted to have an opportunity mm -hmm. when their father reappears, mm -hmm. they kill him. Mm -hmm. And now you, you, you can understand when someone is walking mm -hmm. in this journey alone, mm -hmm. this is where some revenge comes in. Mm -hmm. Even the children, they, they develop a lot of hatred. Mm -hmm. Even the spouse can develop a lot of hatred mm -hmm. because this person has walked alone. Mm -hmm. Some go completely, then they come. Mm -hmm. And there are others who are fair, mm -hmm. but they are not concerned. Mm -hmm. They just leave you. Go. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to, 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 to engage in anything. Mm -hmm. And this will cause this person to give up. Mm -hmm. So we have couples. We see them, they are together. Mm -hmm. We see them in the same house, maybe they are coming from the same house, mm -hmm. but they are not together. Mm -hmm. It is one person who is trying to fight for the marriage. Mm -hmm. It is one person who is concerned what children will eat, how they will live, everything about the family. Mm -hmm. It is one person who is doing all these activities. Mm -hmm. And this totally causes a total burnout. It's, it causes a total burnout. It, it, some sicknesses. 
because when burnouts are not treated, mm. they they become they become they kill. They kill. Know, that's that's yes. that, that's the thing. Yeah. They kill. You faint, you die. Yeah. If something is not done, mm. you die. Mm. So you, you see this. We need to have partners who are supporting one another. We work together. You marry that man mm. to be a helper, not a competitor. You marry that woman to support her in her life. And walk with her through all this life. And that's why we always say, don't marry somebody to live with you. Marry somebody that you cannot live without. And when you are like that, you are moving this journey together, mm. supporting one another. And uh, I say, we have, as a couple, we have gone through challenges, yeah. even in ministry, many areas. But always when we are there, the support of one another is, is the greatest thing that we count on. I count on my, the support of my wife every time, 100%. When things are not working, even the ministry, we have gone through hell. We have gone through many things for the years we have served. There are so many things that have happened. And still, our joy comes when we are together. Mm -hmm. And when we talk, when we encourage one another, we can do anything. Amen. Because we are that. That is a support. Mm. Moral support. Yeah. Spiritual support. You pray for your partner. You support her morally. You want advice. All those things are needed there. Comfort. Encouragement. This person says, it's well. We will make it. We are moving on. Even if everybody hates you in this mm. world, I love you. Yeah, yeah. Even if everything is against you, I am there for you. Mm. These are ones you count tell your partner on, when on. things are not working yeah i still love you no matter what i am there for you this makes them feel good don't leave them don't leave them and walk this journey of marriage alone mm -hmm. then there is what we also call lack of fellowship there are so many married couples that exclude themselves <laughs> even from fellowship mm. so in other ones you don't have a fellowship you don't have fellowship with others. Fellowship is a place of encouragement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You encourage one another. That's why we encourage couples, even in your churches, to have our couples. A fellowship. Where you can talk as couples, men fellowship. Where you can talk as men, women fellowship. Where you can talk as women. And this can strengthen you and make you able to do things. There are things you deal with as men. There are things we deal with as women. So this helps us. Then you have also good friends. Mm. Good friends are a source of inspiration also and encouragement. Yeah. So you choose not to walk alone. Mm. You are friends. Mm. You are a couple of friends that you can sit together as a family. Yeah. You can reason together and then you can walk together. So don't walk alone this journey. Many couples have chosen to be lone rangers. Please don't be a lone ranger in marriage. It's like a ministry. You cannot be a, a lone ranger in ministry. So please don't be a lone ranger in marriage. Look for support. Mm -hmm. Look for moral encouragement. Look for spiritual support. For partners who can pray for you. Partners who can share good news with you. Things that can help you to stand. You need them and you need them in marriage. Then... Obviously, my dear, we have what we call satanic attacks. Yeah. So some people are attacked by mm -hmm. satanic forces. Mm -hmm. Men is attacked, women is attacked. Those can cause also burnout. Yeah. Lack of desire. You can just develop lack of desire with the other person. You can also develop lack of desire of your marriage just because of satanic attack. And these are weapons. Mm -hmm. And these are weapons that are used by the enemy against, against the marriage. I believe if we can take care of those areas well, the way we have discussed, then I believe we are able to avoid some, uh, we can avoid easily, avoid or we can easily conquer areas that may up, you, be used as a loopholes by the enemy to bring the burnouts in marriage. Satanic attack we avoid it through prayer. Mm. 
So once you pray, Satan will not come near you. Pray so that you will not enter into temptations. So satanic attack also has, has brought some issues in most of the marriage. Where your partner is attacked and this becomes unfaithful, this happens and this ways.